you're new, my name is Aria, and today we are gonna decorate my dining room area for fall. We're not gonna pay any attention to the stuff you see in the background, okay? As usual, I'm on a time crunch here. So I am trying to decorate as quickly as I can, and that's gonna include my dining room space, that's gonna include my shelves here, and then once I get some things moved from over here, it's gonna include this little accent table. So stick around. We're gonna get this space decorated for fall, and I think in a very simple way, but I'm excited. So let's get into it, and like and subscribe if you're not already, share it with a friend who loves to decorate as well, and let's get into decorating. Before we get started, if you're not new here, you may notice that this table is new. We got this table, this is from World Market. I've had it for about uh, a month or so, maybe a month and a half, something like that. But I wanted this table for so long because I did not like our last table. It was not good. We do still need to just get new chairs. That's on the list. Um, eventually, I want to get another a set of chairs for the end and or another set of chairs for the middle because this table can extend to allow for seating for eight. As it is now, it's seat six, but it does have extenders on the end. But I'll leave this link down below if you wanna check it out. I got it on a really great sale. I have been waiting and waiting and waiting for it to go on sale, but it is really, really nice. And now I just need to get chairs, and then eventually I'll get a new rug, and then this whole space will be complete as far as that goes. The name of the game when it comes to decorating in this space is to keep it simple. I do not want something overly cluttering on my dining room table because I deal with that on a regular basis. So I'm just using this runner that I got from Target. I think this is still available. This is just from the regular threshold line in the kitchen aisle. So if it is available, I'll link it, but I've had this for a couple of years now and surprisingly, it probably could be longer for this table, but <laughs> we're gonna work with it. And then I'm gonna use this tray that I did get from Kirkland's. I think this is also still available. Just because I like to keep my salt and pepper and our little napkin holder here, I just wanna figure out which is the best way to style it. I did get these a few weeks ago, well, a couple months ago now at this point, these little uh, placemats, and it's just so that I can try to preserve and protect this, this table as much as possible. I just want it to stay pretty <laughs> and stay in good shape as long as I possibly can. really wanted to avoid buying new stems this year because I have so many from previous years and I'll admit it's been hard to not buy them. I've wanted to but I said no I'm not going to do that this year so I'm really just trying to work with what I have and you'll see that I end up changing this a little bit but I mentioned in my kitchen decorating video how much I love these hop stems from Hearth and Hand especially in this like light wheat color and they do have a small bundle that they brought out this year. I've still been tempted to buy it, but I just have not. And thankfully, every time I've gone into Target, they have not had it. So therefore I have not purchased it. But I think that would have been really nice here to not have these very large stems, but we're just gonna work with what we have and see which way comes out to be the best. know which one you like better the brown stems or the hop stems if you do like these brown stems hearth and hand did come out with a similar arrangement to this this year that is still available online anyway and i've seen it in stores so let me know but i think for now i just like the browns a little bit better in this space I'm also gonna keep things pretty simple over here. Don't worry about what you see on the bottom. Honestly, those books, most of those books down there, I've been needing to donate to a local library, but they make it so difficult to donate. Like there are times where you can do it or just not convenient. So I, I do wanna get rid of those books. And then there's just a couple things on the bottom that I just don't need. And I don't ever intend on styling, but I've had this little arrangement from Kirkland's for the past couple of years. And you know, just 
plop her up there and she's good to go. Now we're going to deal with the shelves and those that I just showed you are from the TikTok shop. Listen, I'll leave my video linked down below for those, those linen sprays. Those were the ones, those are holiday scents. So I'll be using them a lot, but you guys, if you don't know about the TikTok shop, girl, get on it. I actually am a TikTok shop affiliate, so I sell a lot of stuff on there, but I also get a lot of stuff on there, and those room sprays are where it's at. But anyway, <laughs> moving right along, I'm styling my shelves, and I'm trying to keep it pretty neutral here as well. Again, everything that I'm using for the most part are things that I've already had. There's a couple of new items that you're going to see, like these stack boxes that I've shared before from Hearth and Hand. But everything else is pretty much, I've, I've already had it. So I'm moving this clock here that I have in my living room because I film a lot in my living room for TikTok. And all I hear when I'm editing those videos is the tick, tick, tick of that clock. Um, so it's getting, it's a little loud. So I'm just going to move it over here. And then my lighting is going to change a little bit because it was getting cloudy and I was trying to use artificial lighting and it just wasn't coming off great. So you know, I'm trying to do the best I can with the lighting that I have, but I'm going to stop rambling and let you just watch and see how I styled these shelves. after I'd already finished that I did have a few more items that I completely forgot that I still had. So I just unboxed those, but I think I'm gonna use those in the living room. I like how this is looking. I just think that this sticks out like an orange thumb because she's literally so orange. <laughs> I think I meant to say like an orange thumb, but because she's so orange and nothing else is really orange, that might change. But in the meantime, I'm going to tidy this up so that I can decorate this and then we'll be finished with the dining room area. Now we come to the final space, which is just this accent table that I got from Target. I really wanna keep things simple because things collect here, mail, stuff, things just collect here. So I wanna keep it simple and I really like how this turned out. But now, as you can see, the light tones of woods that I'm leaning towards more, especially once my chairs are replaced, you can kind of see how things are coming together. I hope that you can. Don't pay attention to the stuff in the back. All that's gonna be getting taken care of, but I had to get decorating first. So now here's how everything has turned out. Okay, so I'm gonna call it a done deal when it comes to my dining room space. The thing is I, have pared down a lot of my fall decor. And as much as I love fall, and I love all the pumpkins, I love all the things, I also love not feeling overwhelmed with it all. And all those, yes, in a sense, I wish I had a little bit more, but I'm not buying anything more. <laughs> so I think that I like how everything has turned out. I'm keeping my table simple. What you're not seeing is that I am gonna put out the little placemats. Are they aesthetically pleasing to the eye? No but if they can help preserve my table because you know of my son and my daughter when she's home and, and me eating here, my husband mostly eats at the island. But um, when we are all eating together, it's nice to just not worry about the table. I wanna preserve it for as long as I possibly can. So that's the only change that's gonna happen there. Over here, this little area, the only change that's gonna happen is that the stuff that's on the bottom is gonna disappear. Um, I don't have a reason to decorate this space. I really would like to just get a buffet. Um, I have the space for a buffet. 
it's on the list, but it's nowhere near high on the list. And there's one in particular that I really do love. And if that one ever comes back in stock and on a great sale, then yes, we can entertain that. But that's something that I would mostly use the top for decor, but the bottom and everything would be completely storage because it's gonna be completely hidden. It has doors and drawers and it's to hold things so that I could have more space for serving wear and things like that. Cause I would like to start being able to entertain. Um, and then yes, everything looks like a hot mess because I don't have any place for things to go. So until I'm done decorating for fall, which will be happening in a few minutes because I'm about to do the living room now, um, then I'll take all my bins out of here and it'll be nice and clean um, for when I share my fall home tour, which is coming up very soon. Um, I really do like how my shelves turned out and I wanted to keep my little console table mostly simple so that, cause that's where all the mail piles up. I mean, it is what it is. So we live here, it is not 5,000 square feet. So we have to do what we do. And yeah, we're regular people living in a regular house. So I hope that you enjoyed. Um, I hope that you found some ideas for this if you're still decorating for fall or if you just like to watch fall decorating videos. I know I definitely watched all kinds of videos like this way before I had a place that was worthy of decorating. So I just like to watch the videos. I hope that you feel the same way, but if you do, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if not already subscribed and come back because my next video after this is my living room. And I know that why, because I'm about to decorate it right now. So come on back. I'll change my shirt, make it look a little bit like I, you know, I'm a little different. Take my hair out of the Marge Simpson beehive and yeah. So thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.